हेलो नमस्कार दिस इज फर्स्ट पोस्ट एंड यू वाचिंग वेंटेज विद मी पलकी शर्मा It's 26th January, a very special day for us. On this day last year, we brought you the first episode of Vantage. Honestly, it felt like a physics board exam. We passed, all thanks to you. Today is also India's 75th Republic Day. If you live in a housing society in India, I can imagine how your day begins with songs from movies like Border and Karma playing on loudspeakers every year. It makes you wonder why Bollywood is not adding to the playlist. There's a fluttering tr tricolor everywhere you see. Soon, the parade on Kartavya Path begins. You see a resplendent display of India's culture and military might. The vibe is infectious. For me, the most moving moment was the sight of women leading the motorcycle stunts. They came from all parts of the country, small towns and villages, conquering physical, social and cultural barriers to put up this spellbinding show. It gives you goosebumps. I'm sure today's parade inspired many young girls and boys all over India. We'll bring you the highlights. Also the takeaways from the Modi Macron bilateral. What message does a Padma award to the Foxconn chairman give? Why Tesla has lost 80 billion dollars in one day in its valuation? Why Pakistan is accusing India of assassinations? Why Australia is seeing protests on its national day? How Netflix is betting big on sports content and how the tradition of military parades began. All this and more coming up the headlines first. Set back for Kenyan President William Ruto a court blocks his government's decision to deploy police to Haiti calls the move illegal and unconstitutional 1000 police officers were to lead a UN approved mission to control gang violence in Haiti Mali's junta ends the 2015 peace deal with separatists it was seen as essential in maintaining stability in the country the junta blamed the rebels as well as Algeria the lead mediator for its decision since 2012 Mali has been a victim of jihadist violence In India the opposition is the opposition unraveling just months before the election. Reports claim Bihar Chief Minister Nitish Kumar will leave the India bloc. Speculation is rife that Kumar will return to the ruling India the ruling NDA coalition on Sunday. He could be sworn in as the Chief Minister of Bihar again with the BJP support. Polls underway in the Pacific island nation of Tuvalu. The election comes amid the US and China wrangling for influence in the region. Tuvalu is one of only 12 countries that have diplomatic relations with Taiwan. Colombia seeks international aid to fight forest fires for the fourth day now. Hundreds of firefighters have been trying to control it. The blaze has blanketed the capital in smoke. Some schools have been closed and many flights disrupted in Bogota. And Yannick Sinner upsets Novak Djokovic at the Australian Open. 22-year-old Sinner beat the 10-time Australian Open champion in four sets. This is Djokovic's first loss in the tournament since 